Hi guys, Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking here. And today um, I'm going to share with you a cast iron haul. Sort of a haul. My best friend, um, one of my best friends, um, was going through some stuff and actually I was with her at the time and we came across a bunch of old cast iron. And this is stuff that's been in her family and has been sitting around for decades. Decades. Um, <clears throat> however, she didn't have a plan for using it anytime soon anyway and she knows I loved it and being the best friend that she is um, she has let me uh, have these pieces uh, to recondition and get back in shape and use and uh, with the understanding that if anything happens to me they go back to her and stay in the family so I wanted to show you a little bit of what I got first first off you guys know that I'm big on Lodge. Uh, Lodge is what I used pretty much most of my life. This is my number eight um, that is well seasoned and I use it all the time and you've seen it in some of my videos. And of course Lodge um, is, a, is an American company. Uh, it was founded in 1910 and is still going today and they're from South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Uh, my Dutch oven 12 up in New York State that I have at, that I camp with and do my Dutch oven cooking with is uh, also a lodge and I have a couple other lodge um, fry pans in there that are smaller. So um, my mom has a Wagner, she has a big Wagner and she also has my grandmother's uh, Pequa and the Wagners which some of these are Wagners um, they're actually made in Sydney Ohio and they were made there from 1891 to 1959 and the Pequa was actually, the Pequa is actually a skillet that my mom, uh, well, yeah, griddle. It's actually a griddle skillet um, that was my grandmother's. And the Pequa was made by the Favorite Stove and Range Company um, in Pequa, Ohio, from 1916 to 1935. Um, there's one other that's in here um, besides... These, these are all Wag, I think these are all Wagners, two I can't identify yet, and uh, the one is another company that I am, was not familiar with, but I uh, did some research on. Uh, as you know, um, I, there are other companies that make cast iron, um, but I'm very big on USA American made products. Um, I like keeping my brothers and sisters in work, but I also love the heritage um, behind it. And, you know, I'm all about heritage and tradition, uh, obviously, with the way I cook. Um, so that's important to me. So I love having these pieces that have been part of American history and American tradition. And, you know, our forefathers cooked with these, you know, even going, you know, back when settling this country. So, you know, to me, it's just a really neat way to be able to pay uh, homage to that aspect of our history here. So let's look at what I got. Um, this first one, this is this is a griddle plate, and it's in rough shape. <laughs> um, this and another piece here. In fact, it's in such rough, sh rough shape I couldn't make out any markings on it. But this little this little um, pan here, uh, it has one stamp on it. The rest of it I'm going to have to burn off because this also is in really bad bad shape. Um, just been let go for a long time. It was in a, uh, they used it in an old smoke, smokehouse, but butcher house. So, you know, it had some rough spots. This next piece is a, uh, a, a Wagner 6. Yeah, I believe this is a Wagner 6. And this is in pretty good condition. I'm going to clean this up and get it seasoned. You can see it there. The next one, this this is a really nice pan. This was one I've never heard of before. It's pretty light, which I like. Very smooth, um, deep has the pour well. Really nicely made, and it's balanced pretty nice too. Um, so, give a look here and you see how nice it is. This is actually a Marietta. And in Marietta's room, there were actually a couple, two different casting companies in Marietta, PA. So this is made here in Pennsylvania. Um, Marietta 
was uh, founded in 1889 and I'm still researching I'm not sure when they went out of business but it was a while ago so um, I'm really excited about this one because you know this is some PA heritage here um, and it's a really nice pan I really like it a lot I like the, how the, the handles designed too then this one this one is a Wagner 10 and it's stamped with the Wagner seal. It's in pretty decent shape and uh, we're going to get it cleaned up and uh, we'll get that seasoned as well. And then the last one made me made me really smile. This is a Wagner 1891 original cast iron cookware and made in the USA and the thing that I found um, cute about this besides it you know it's a really nice Wagner and the Wagners are really smooth you know lodges are grooved a little bit more which never bothered me um, I know some people will actually grind them a bit to make them smoother but you know if you're continually seasoning um, I find that the seasoning kind of fills up those ridges and makes your nonstick surface um, you know it's like my, my lodge here it's smooth on the inside um, you know it's got 20 years of seasoning on it, but you know, that's that's the whole point. You know, you get good seasoning on these pans You don't you don't want to mess that up But the, the other thing that made me smile about this is on the back side I don't know if you can see that Wagner actually has the care instructions stamped right on the pan so seasoning instructions one scour thoroughly two coat with cooking oil and usually that means a vegetable oil like canola Three, heat in a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for one hour. Four, remove excess oil. Ready for use, reseason as necessary. I could tell you how to care for these, um, but actually someone else just did a really good job of doing that for me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to share the link to their videos down below because one is actually uh, cast iron, fact or fiction. The other one is actually on, it shows how you season one. Um, it's not hard, but uh, you should do it the right way. And he addresses in the first video with the fact or fiction um, some really common misconceptions about how to take care of your cast and what you can and can't do. Like if you can use soap and water, if you can use metal utensils, if you can scrub them out all kinds of things you know these were sitting in an old butcher and smoke shop for the last 30 some years so um, you bet your butt they're gonna get cleaned they're gonna get disinfected um, they're gonna get washed before they even go for seasoning God only knows what was running around in there so um, absolutely can do that but our friend Dark Matter uh, did a really good job of cast iron factor fiction and cast iron seasoning with his Lodge Dutch oven and I'm going to put the links down below to reference those um, so that you can get a better grip on how to care for your cast iron. I am proud to say that uh, I passed his, his fact or fiction test pretty handily. So, um, but then I grew up with it, so I pretty well better. Um, this is Wednesday, and, and while I'm not a part of the cast iron Wednesday deal, um, there are some other folks that are doing Cast Iron Wednesdays, um, Native Tears and Carolina Chris Outdoors are, and uh, you might want to check them out for some fun if you're interested in cast iron. Um, you know, as far as Dutch oven cooking and, and cast iron cooking, um, there's some other good channels out there. Um, I will put links down below for both Native Tears and Carolina Chris Outdoors. Go check them out. If you're interested in Dutch oven cooking, um, I mean, there's quite a few folks out there. I have my favorites though and, and the ones that I've followed for quite a while um, and I'll put their links down below too. Cowboy Kent Rollins is one of them. He actually has run a chuck wagon school for ugh, decades um, and has been doing it the real deal actually out on the range and he actually does uh, Dutch oven cooking camps out on the range that are a week long and that's sort of a uh, bucket list item. I would love to do that. That would be absolutely excellent. Um, another one that I watch is 1960 Hiker Dude. He does a lot of Dutch oven cooking, gives a lot of really good tips, is really good at uh, showing you how to do things. Um, it's a little different 
for me to find people that are doing um, wood fires. Uh, tons of people are doing charcoal and you know to be honest it's, it's easier to do charcoal because you can count um, go by your number of briquettes. I mean like if you get the the Boy Scout guide to Dutch oven cooking it tells you you know it gives you a recipe and then it tells you how many coals top and bottom that you need for how long and it makes it pretty precise. Um, when you're cooking with wood uh, you get different wood types burn at different heats and different lengths and you sort of got to get a grip for that so uh, when you're cooking you have an idea of what you're doing it's kind of a it's kind of a feel thing <laughs> um, but so far I'm, I'm doing okay with it I'm having a lot of fun with it so anyway that's the uh, cast iron haul that I thought I would share with you today um, got some Wagners and a Marietta and a couple unknowns maybe when I get them cleaned up here um, I'll show them to you again what they look like all cleaned up and seasoned and see how these two really rough pieces uh, came out with trying to uh, burn them off and, and get them cleaned up. Um, so if you like what you saw and you like this vid, please like and subscribe and join me next time here on Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking.